Hi, I'm Michael from Podio, and in this video I'll show you how you can streamline your CRM and sales process by setting up Podio for your team. Everything starts with creating a new workspace. If you don't already have one, then you simply create a new one in the workspace navigation menu, like this. For this example, I'll name the workspace Sales. The best name for your workspace is probably the name of the department in your company that you're setting up Podio for. So it could be something like account management too. You can invite your coworkers to your new workspace now, but in this case I'd recommend setting things up first and then inviting your team. To do that, you'll need some Podio apps. You can get these apps from the free app market or create them yourself. In this example, I'll pick the sales management pack of apps from the app market. I'll show you how you can customize these apps to suit your team in a minute. You can see the apps I've added to the workspace here. They are Companies, Deals and Materials. The Companies app is for storing the contact details of your leads and customers. You can see that when I choose to add a new company, I have a contact field that enables me to record the details of the individuals at the company. You can add more than one contact to each company using this field. Using the category field below, I can indicate the status of this company. The fields below this will enable you to assign responsibility for the relationship with each company to members of your sales team. For example, I can make myself responsible for this company. I can then indicate when they were last contacted and schedule the next follow-up to make sure they're not forgotten. Once I click Save, the company is created and I can see it's stored in the app like this. If you have an Excel sheet of existing contact data, you'll be able to skip creating items manually and instead import them using the Excel import function that turns rows in a spreadsheet into items in an app. Here's how it'll look once you've added more data to your app. Now on to tracking the deals your team make with the Deals app. When creating a new deal, the first field is a relationship field and this relates to the company's app that you've just seen. So I select the company that we'll hopefully be selling to here. I then select the member of the team in charge of closing this deal, in this case me, and indicate the stage of the deal. It's important to keep this field up to date, as it will affect the reports created by this app. While you're working on closing a deal, you can enter the value you expect to close and the percentage chance of making it happen. This will then be reflected in your sales pipeline. You can also indicate a date that you expect the deal to close, but leave the bottom field empty until the deal is actually closed, as this will be reflected in your sales reports. All the fields and all the naming used in this app can be completely customised by you, to add new functionality or remove fields if they're not needed. To do this you just click Modify Template. For example here I'd like to add a new category field so my team can indicate the service that's being sold as part of a deal. So I just drag this field into the app's template and add the different categories. I'll save the changes to my app's template and you can see how it's reflected here. Now I'll save this item and you've seen how I've got a workflow for creating company contacts and then tracking the deals you make with those companies. But now I'm going to show you how you can automate some of this process. In this Deals app, I click the wrench icon to get the Settings menu. And then I select Manage Workflows. I'm going to create a new workflow that will send a task to a member of our finance team to create an invoice whenever a deal is closed. So I choose when a deal is updated. And the update in particular should happen in the Deals Stage field. And if the current deal stage contains closed, meaning if someone changes the stage of a deal to closed, then the workflow will create a task. Now I can enter the details of how the task will look and who it will be assigned to. And now every time a deal is closed in this app, Dominic will be notified with a task linked to that specific deal.
Now I'll show you how data from your apps can generate reports like your sales pipeline. For this demo, I'll fast forward a little so we can see what the app will look like when there are more deals added. Now when I click reports, you can see I have a sales pipeline and monthly sales reports set up here. These reports come pre-configured when you install these apps from the app market. But now I'll show you how you can create your own. To create a new report, I click the plus icon next to Reports. I'm going to use this report to show me the revenue brought in from each of the services we offer. So I choose Calculation, I'll use the Close Deal Value field, then show the sum by service. Now I'll give this report a name and add a unit, in this case dollars. I save the report, and here it is. I'll just show you one last handy feature that's popular with a lot of teams running CRM on Podio. Back in the Companies app, each company has a next follow-up date, and I'll use this to create a call list. This is called creating a view. So firstly, I'm going to filter the items to show only the companies that need to be contacted in the next seven days. Then when I save this as a view, I can break down the results by the relationship owner and call the view call list. Now each member of my team can click their name and they'll see just the companies they need to contact in the next week. Plus this view will update constantly so no one will ever get forgotten. Now all that's left to do is invite the rest of your team. You can do this by going to your Workspace's home screen, which is accessed by clicking Activity. You then click the Invite icon and either select your co-workers from the menu or enter their email addresses. If you have any questions about getting set up, feel free to contact us via our help centre at help.podio.com. Thanks for watching.